Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. This video is a tutorial on Jibble time tracking. In this video, we will talk about Jibble, what it is used for, how to sign up, and we will also do a walkthrough of its interface. Then we will show you how to track time using Jibble. So make sure to watch this video till the end. We're beginning with a short introduction to Jibble.io. As you can see, we're on the home page. And if you want to know what exactly Jibble is, it mentions over here that it is a new standard of time tracking. It is an innovative way of tracking time, whether it's for your business, your personal needs, school, whatever it is. This is a screenshot of how the timesheets will look like on your web browser on Jibble. And it is also available for mobile. It allows you to uh, clock the time. It also allows you to track the GPS of your employee. There's also the face recognition attendance and offline timesheet software. So that was a very short intro to what Jibble is. Now let's look at how you can track time for that. You don't need to go to any pricing or subscribe to a membership because it is totally free. Yes, that's great about Jibble. So the next thing you will need to do is to sign up. You can either click this track time now, it's free button over here, or else at the top right, there is the start now button. Whatever it is, you click on it and you will end up at this page, which will ask you to get started by either creating a new organization or join an existing organization. So if you want to set up your company with Jibble for time tracking, you'll go for the first one. If you're inviting your team members and employees to join Jibble for tracking their performance and their work hours, then you uh, will send them a link and invite them. When they come on Jibble, they will need to click on join an existing organization. Anyway, we are going to demonstrate for you how you can track time for your employees and yourself. So we're going ahead with the create a new organization option. Here, you will need to create an account. So give in your full name, email address, password. If you want to receive offers, tips, products, updates from Jibble, you can click this or else just untick it over here. And then if there is a recapture, fulfill that. Verify yourself as not a robot by completing the recapture and then click the create account button. Now you will need to enter some details of your organization on this next page. Let's create a company, give in a phone number, select an industry from the drop down. You also need to choose your organization size and then click the continue button. On the next page, it'll ask you about your goals. There are three options here, monitor time and attendance review hours for payroll and track time on projects select any one or select all three let's go ahead and select all three and then click the continue button next it will ask you to choose one or more devices you have the options of mobile apps shared kiosk and personal computers we're going ahead and selecting all three options and then click the continue button next you need to specify where you heard about jibble just choose something that is appropriate and click the continue button. That was the last step in the setup process and now you will be taken to your dashboard. Let's now do a quick walkthrough of what's there on the dashboard. On the left side, you can see the various tabs that you can access. In the center of your dashboard, you can see three views, which is your daily view, weekly view and monthly view. We have not set up anything, so everything is at zero right now. Below our statistics, everything will show up once you have track time. On the top, you can see that there is this green blinking button, which is basically clocking in time. So this is what your employees also will use. And you can also use to start clocking in your time. Next to that is the option to clock in time for your team members. Then is the onboarding progress, which we are yet to do, and we will do it in a bit. Then is the help and support button. And finally is the product update section. Now let's go and complete the onboarding progress. There are various steps over here. Let's go ahead and start. Let's move this out of the way and click on define rules for time tracking. So before you set up anything, you need to set up some time tracking policies. Over here, there are some pre-built policies which are flexible, moderate and strict. 
if you click on any, you will see a preview over here. So that's how it will look like for all three. We are going ahead with the moderate option. And once you've selected it, you can go down and click this button that is saying set policy. After that, you'll be taken to the next step of the onboarding progress, which is creating a work schedule. You have three options over here, which are fixed, flexible and weekly. So we're going ahead with the fixed option. Then you need to select the days of the work. And each day will have a timing also coming underneath. You just need to go ahead and select that. You can just select it for one day, like we've done it for Monday over here and click this button that says copy to all and it'll get copied to everything. And if you scroll down, there is the option to add breaks, but it is only for premium members. So we're leaving it for now and saving the schedule by hitting this button. You'll be taken to the next step, which is adding locations. We're going to do, I'll do this later. Then you can also add activities. This is something we can fill in. So we're just going to do that. Enter some tasks over here and then click this button. The next step is adding team members. So you can invite using email or you can also send them an invite using SMS. Type in their name and then type in their email address. Click on add new member to add another member. Enter their name and enter their email and then click on invite members. The next is an optional step, which is booking a demo with the team at Jibble. You don't need to do that if you don't want to. So you can click on I'll do this later. And again, it will take you back to those steps that have not been completed. As you can see over here, locations and demo are not done. So it will keep changing between them. What you need to do is go back to your dashboard by simply clicking this hourglass icon or the logo of Jibble. Now, this is your dashboard. We'll come back to it. Now, let's look at how you can track time. For that, you need to click on the green button to start tracking your own time. A pop-up window will open at the side like this with your name on it and the time will be mentioned. Today will be mentioned. You need to select an activity over here. I'm going to select task one. If you want, you can also add hours over here by just entering the hours today. And if you want to add hours for a previously work day, then you can just go to this calendar and select the date. So we're just clocking in the current time. We have uh, set our task. We need to first set the task, as I said earlier, and then click the save button. So you can see the tracker has switched on and it is tracking your time. In order to track the time of your employees, you need to click on this icon over here. And it will show you your employees. You need to click on the green icon. And again, a pop up window will open up like this. I need to assign them a task. So I'm going to assign task two. Again, you can add hours just like how I showed you before. Click the save button. Do the same thing for the other employees as well. Let's go ahead and do that quickly. Select another task. I'm selecting task three over here and clicking the save button. So now you can see all the trackers have started. So this is your uh, time tracking that's happening over here. And you can see once it is activated, there are three options over here. The first one is to switch between activities. So if you click that, again, a pop-up window will open and you can select the activity. Uh, the next icon is for starting a break and followed by that is the clock out button that will stop the tracking of time. These same options will also appear next to your employees' names, as you can see over here. So that is it about how you can track time using this platform called Jibble. This brings this video to an end. We truly hope it has benefited you. Do let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. If there are any topics that you'd like video from us, then let us know about that as well in the comment section below. We'll catch you soon in our next video. Till then, stay tuned and stay subscribed.